Hello and welcome to The Reasons I'm Broke. I'm Daniel. And I'm Kelly. And if you're a regular listener of the podcast, then you know... Bobby. <laughs> Woo, Bobby! All right. There are several Bobettes out there. Very excited. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Bobettes. Who comes, the Bobettes. Who, who comes up with these names? The Let's listeners see. are the Broquettes. The Bobettes are the Bobettes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a special holiday episode. We all get busy during the holidays, but we were able to record this special edition, The Reasons I'm Broke, where we're going to share our favorite holiday stories from the past. This can be video games, comics, really anything. When we do the regular podcasts like these... The Reasons That Made Our Parents Broke. Is that the name of this one? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> reasons Our Families Broke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the reason. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> so with that, we can share some of our favorite holiday memories, our favorite gifts, and all kinds of stuff that encompasses maybe bad memories, too. I don't know if any of you have had, like, terrible I have, I have holidays. Some weird too. memories. Yeah. <laughs> some weird I some don't stuff. doubt it, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dad, if you're listening... <laughs> He's a Bobette. <laughs> well, he is Bob, so. <laughs> it's perfect then. <laughs> so what was your favorite Christmas gift or holiday gift or whatever of all time? Mine, I think I have two that were my favorite. And they're all from when I was a kid, which is kind of funny. First one, Barbie Dreamhouse. Bobby, I know that was your favorite too. I'm sorry. I did. I had one. <laughs> <laughs> but it had a working elevator and everything. I loved that thing. It weighed more than I did, so I stopped playing with it after like three months. Did it have like a little motor? How did the elevator yeah, work? Yeah, you put little batteries in it. You hit the button with it, and it took the Barbies upstairs because you couldn't just lift them upstairs. The whole back was open. Mm -hmm. um, so I love that gift. And then I also got my N64 for Christmas one year. Which N64 was it? Uh, just the black one. I don't know. I actually got that too. The N64? For Christmas. Yep. Both of us. It was Barbie the, Dreamhouse it was and N64. The purple see-through one. Was that bundled in with any games or anything? No. I don't think so. We had uh, Super Mario 64 and that's it. I don't think mine was bundled either, but I did get Super Mario 64 and Mario Kart with it. So the first time I got an N64, it got Star Fox for free with it. I don't well, remember if that was like... It was a Target. I remember we, that. We can't all be as awesome as you, Dan. <laughs> And get these free things. I know. Well, that was back when Nintendo was doing that whole Rumble Pack promotion thing where they were pushing the controller Rumbles and look, yeah. we'll give you Star Fox for free and that comes with a free Rumble Pack. It takes like 15 batteries. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember the Rumble Packs. And I was playing at the Target display, the demo, and I'm just, this is the first time you ever feel Rumble. So you're like, oh my God, this is crazy. And it was overpowered. Like they put way too much Rumble into the controllers. Your little kid body's like <laughs> shaking yeah. across the screen. And your mom's like, ooh. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway <laughs> so anyway i think those are my two favorite gifts that i can remember what about you bobby um barbie dream let's house cut at this part here because i'm gonna think about it you can do you <laughs> for me i think it might have to be the sega genesis my parents um it wasn't like a holiday gift or christmas gift per se because i didn't unwrap it but it was more like, okay, well, this is what we're going to get you if you want it. Cool. And it was the Sega Genesis. And we bought it at Sears. You remember when Sears used to have an electronics mm -hmm. department? Yes. I don't even they know if they still do. Still do. do they, they do. Yeah. It was like this. Their electronic department was a glass case in like a U shape. And then they just had all the video games no, inside. Their, their electronics department is high tech now. Like you have to walk through the little sensors to get in. And then you're in this little entrapped cubicle like area that's weird and then Daniel you gotta did. walk through their little sensors out Daniel so. designed that system <laughs> <laughs> make sure this blinds up <laughs> <laughs> probably <laughs> I'm still surprised Sears is even in business mm -hmm. yeah. well, they like have, they're just hanging on I think they have cheap um, appliances their clothes were always real shitty they carry the Kardashian line though they do? yeah was that like a Sears yeah. exclusive? yeah I have one of their dresses Got it when Sears was going out of business. <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought of your favorite gift yet, yes. Bobby? Yes, I remember. There used to be a uh, food lion in Winter Garden. Oh, nasty. A long time ago, and they used to sell train sets in there. And for Christmas, I wanted a train set. And it came with this oil that you could put in like this, this steam column thing, and it would steam while it was going around. And it was really expensive, and my dad's like, no, nah, you're not getting that shit. <laughs> That's too expensive. 
<laughs> but then he ended up getting it for me. I was Aww. really happy. Oh, that's awesome. I know. Parents always played that trick on you. Like, you're not going to get it. It works. Oh, it does man. work. You I believe see. them every time, even though they pull the same one they on you. They still get it. My mom yeah. made me cry one year over a Christmas present. Why is that? Well, it was like a week before. Not even a week. It was like the day before Christmas, something weird like that. I don't know. And she's like, hey, go into my purse and get me something. So I was like, okay. And I opened her purse and there were Pokemon cards in there. Oh my like, god. Oh, fuck yeah. Pokemon. My dad used it was to do that. the cover with the Aerodactyl when we were in the fossil. And I the was fossil like, set. yeah, I had three of them in there. And I was like, hey, mom, what are these? She's like, oh, that's your Christmas present. I got to take it back now. And I'm like, no, here's money. <laughs> I love you. Jeez. Almost cried because th- I got them anyway. <laughs> it was awesome. I don't yeah. think. Oh, no, I did get a holographic aerodactyl in that too. That's yes. awesome. Yes. So I kind of have a story. Yeah, Funny definitely. story. There's, there's like uh, three bins of pictures of my family. We have like a thousand pictures. I mean, it's crazy. And the majority of my life, every Christmas, I was in my underwear. <laughs> so there, there are hundreds of pictures of me in my underwear at Christmas, just like really fat, just like looking at the camera and opening things. And I like had buck teeth when I was younger and it was, you know. So we'll have to look at those one day. No, <laughs> And then please. never look again. Use them to, for firewood when the air goes out. <laughs> Heats off look at those pictures. <laughs> they don't burn. But I don't. I don't know what it was. Up until I was about fifteen, I would always be in my underwear around the house. Don't 15. lie. You still. You still. No. I, I mean, you know, when it was me and my dad, I didn't care. You know, but I just you gotta follow that tradition again this year. No. <laughs> <laughs> Opening up a present like. Yeah. Well, I'm halfway there. My pants are like falling apart here. <laughs> it's just getting ready for the holidays. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I always had the picture every year. Where it was me putting the angel on the tree, and Dad used to pick me up so that I could reach, and then my brother was born. Oh, and ruined everything. And then it was well now well now it's Kyle's turn. So this past year it was my turn again. Now I'm an old woman now, <laughs> so I stood on a chair and Dad made it look like he was lifting me up. We'll hold pebbles up there this year <laughs> on our tree. <laughs> She's like, <"Arr!" laughs> She's playing with the thing. <laughs> Yeah. Pebbles for the listeners out there is Bobby's cat. <laughs> My cat. Funniest cat ever. Gets yep. stuck in everything. And then just goes, meow. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's its call for help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Pokemon cards, same thing here. Those were very popular Christmas presents. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I never got those for Christmas. Like the Pokemon well, cards. Did you ever collect them? Yeah, my dad would get, he would, we used to work the night shift, midnights, and he would come home, and he would, 7-Eleven used to sell them, he would come home, and he'd be like, here, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, I mean, I still have a book of uh, Pokemon cards, 200, I mean, I have a box, they're all in my them. garage, that'll never be worth anything, <laughs> no, they're just paper, not even that Charizard, <laughs> I know, you can sell that thing for like $13, 13 it used to be, I remember when I was a kid, people used to say, you can sell this for a hundred dollars, and back then that was a lot of money for us. Like a hundred bucks was the most thing ever, and now you can find them on eBay for nine dollars, thirteen bucks. If only Justin hadn't stolen yours. Oh my! Someone God, stole my cards too. Someone stole when I was Justin a child. Charizard. What did they steal? Uh, they stole my holographic uh, Mew something. Mew two? Yeah, yeah. It was, but it was the adult one, not the two. Oh, Mew. Mew, yeah. That's weird. That's yeah. not even like a hard to find card or anything. I don't know, like. I don't know. The shiny ones are really cool, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that's probably what it was. But yeah, for me, it was the Charizard. Like, I had that first set, the base set, complete, except for that Charizard for years. Aww. You didn't have a Charizard? Those were the easiest ones. I had a Charizard, one. but he stole it. Justin stole it. How old were you? Uh, I don't know. Well, when did these things you were come like out? Fifth like fifth grade. 90, 1996? Yeah, so it was fifth grade. I thought you were going to say recently. I was going to say, well, that's really No, I was going to say recently. Like five years ago, I bought that Charizard he again did. just to complete, like, just to complete this little part of me. Like, now I have it, and it's kind of like you never stole it. Even though it's not the same Charizard, I mean, it might as well be. Like, it's a fucking Pokemon card. I never had cards stolen, but I used to have people trick me. Where they'd be like, here, let's trade these two cards. This one that I have is really, really cool. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's trade. And then they'd be like, oh, no trade backs. That one I traded you is awful. <laughs> and then I'd be like, well, I still like this one better. So thanks. And yeah, people like, used to oh. do that to me. All the kids are horrible. They are. <laughs> I used to have the, the uh, Game Boy Advance and we would trade. And there's this one Pokemon that would only evolve when you traded it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like some there's weird shape. Lots Geo of them. Some... Anyway. Oh, this Golem. Kid tra- yeah, okay, yeah, I don't remember. But this kid 
uh, tricked me into trading it. And it was really rare or something. And he's a little asshole. He scratched my screen too. Oh, <laughs> Thanks for trading. And mm. guy. <laughs> so what, it evolved and then he just kept it? Yeah. Wow. It was a douchebag. I was like, get back. Because remember, he used to hold him like back to back on there and transfer. Yeah, and he was like, okay. You're like, okay, now let's trade back. And he's like, nope. <laughs> Did you kick him? No, I didn't. That's kick your him. own fault. Kick right? That's the thing, Betty. Like, that was the way of like hurting someone, <laughs> kicking them as a kid. I never, never kicked punching. anybody. Never, neither did I, but that was always what you heard. Like, they kicked me. Yeah, people used to kick me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, because because when I hit third grade, Christmas. <laughs> when I hit third grade, I started getting really plump. Mm-hmm. And I used to wear these short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and people used to say, Bobby wears short shorts. You know, and they'd make fun of me and they'd hurt me. I would have <laughs> kicked like, you too. <laughs> well, I would have kicked you. I was always the guy that was friends with all of those like the weirdos. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was I the know. weirdo. I still kind of am, but you know, you like, are. Like, Nobody's when normal. To, when I go to work, I end up like making friends with like the weirdo coworker type of guy, and yeah, I don't know. It's just I don't know if I gravitate towards them or whatever, but it's always kind of been the case. And the thing is, the bullies would pick on all of them, but never on me. It was always weird. They'd be like, "Hey, Dan," like I was just cool with everyone, but not necessarily them, friends. They beat up your friends. Stare. It'd be a hate crime because I'm Mexican, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Shit. He gets all the scholarships. <laughs> Do you get scholarships because you're dark? <laughs> I can, yeah. <laughs> I did get one right out of high school. You're actually. more privileged than I am. Your house is nicer than mine. <laughs> the Latino scholarship or whatever. <laughs> Where's Bobby's scholarship? Yeah, Obama. They used to have a redhead scholarship. They got rid of it. Really? I'm, I'm a minority. You the, are. They always told me in high school that there are scholarships out there that you don't even qualify for, but that no one applies, and they'll just give it to you. Like, there was mm-hmm. a golf one in my high school. He said, like, every year, like, two people apply for it. Like, no one. And you don't even have to play golf, and they'll give it to you just because they don't want the money to go to waste. That's what my teacher said. Just apply to all of them. Apply to all of them. Have your one essay. And I never did. That covers all of those, like... Yes, I really like this thing that I'm applying for. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so or why do you want the scholarship? That was always the, the thing. Why do you want the money? What school do you want to go to? And what do you want to do with your life? Harvard. <laughs> or you can pull a Kelly like, and just drop out. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> Harvard. Harvard. <laughs> you got to spell it like that. Oh, too. this kid's like, whoa. <laughs> he spelled it the rich way. <laughs> the rich way? Did you, did you spell it out with $1 bills? <laughs> the rich way. <laughs> <laughs> you sign it with a little doodle of Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> Love Uncle Scrooge. Yeah. But do you have any funny stories, you guys? Any go in your underwear? You guys had siblings, so I never you guys probably never like it was it was never okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean when I was younger, when I was like below five, I'd walk around naked. In really? Nights. Yeah. <laughs> I never see we never did that. I like to wear my clothes. Well, yeah, I was five. I didn't, All the time. Sexual, you didn't know any better, yeah. That's Before true. I could talk, I was putting on my own clothes. Really? Yes. Always the overachiever. I did, that's me. Yeah, early starter. Yep. <laughs> Funny holiday stories, though. Did you guys ever have the actual real trees, or did you have the like aluminum plastic ones? I would say half and half with me. So one year was the one, and one year was the other? No, like half my life was fake, and then the other half is real. <laughs> no. <laughs> my parents always hated cleaning it up, too, and it is shit. Cleaning it up, you know? Um, we always had the real trees up until four years ago, probably. Four or five years ago. Um, because it just, it always felt like Christmas. It doesn't feel like Christmas to me unless you have a real tree. And then we got the wood floor. Mom's like, no, we need this fake one now. And a part of me died. Oh my God. It, it did. I wasn't expecting like, that. No. I thought you were like, and then we went on with our lives. <laughs> the no. First, the first... When they told me we weren't getting a real tree, I cried. I'm not even joking. Jeez. I cried. And then, like, three years later of having this fake tree, we were talking about it. I'm like, yeah, I cried when you got the fake one. And now my family's like, no, 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 we need a real one. We need a real one every year. Wow. Every year. So every year we get a real one again. That fake Jeez. one's just sitting in the attic. Good for it. <laughs> you like to flick it off every year. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> But no, it's just, it doesn't, I need that smell and, okay, this is going to be weird. I'm a little bit weird, guys. I'm sorry. Not as weird as sitting in my underwear. I do not. (laughs) But but I stick my face in it. I like how it prickles my face. Oh my God. The Christmas tree. It's BDSM shit right there. (laughs) It's so weird. Uh. (laughs) But then you smell it. You feel the, I don't know, it feels like Christmas. It doesn't feel like the holidays. 
See, the only prickles I remember during the holidays was during that fake Santa photo shoot that your parents would always make yes. you go to at the malls. I don't remember that. You never did that? I did it and I was a baby. Oh, I hated it because it was never the same Santa and you didn't. You never wanted to do it, but no. your parents always wanted that one picture of you with a stranger every year to put up on the fridge. I My dad it. told me that Santa didn't exist when I was like five. By the way, Santa doesn't exist. <laughs> so you're, you're the kid in elementary school. I was, I was like, Santa's like, not real. Tell yeah. all the other kids. I asked my dad and he's like, you really want to know? <laughs> so, I mean, my dad doesn't shit around. No, it doesn't sound like Santa. It. I that, guess he figures like if he's already questioning it, might as well let him know. Yeah. My dad was the one he who never told me too. I remember this clear as day. I walk up to my mom. I'm like, mom, is Santa real? And she goes, yeah, he is. And I turned around and walked into the living room and asked my dad. And he's like, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> so I know we really care. But getting back to Santa, <clears throat> I had to take those pictures too. But I only took them until I was like five. The babysitter would go in, or daycare, whatever, would go and have us all get them every year. And then I never saw Santa again until four years ago. You remember that, Santa? Yeah. It was when I was hanging out at the, at mall, the mall when you Santa's worked there. Back? Oh, no, he was so cool. So at the time, you were working at a store in the mall, mm -hmm. and I would go and visit him for like eight hours a day, and I'd get bored, so I'd walk around. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you know what? She was still in high school. I was. Oh, uh, okay. I was, this is what you do when you're in high school. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You think you got to spend all your time together, even at work. Now I'm just like, eh, see you later. <laughs> I'm going to stay home and clean. I'll see you when you get your ass home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... <laughs> So Santa was there, and there was nobody because it was the middle of the day. And it was me and my best friend walking around. Santa's like, hey, come over here. So we're like, okay. So he made room on his chair. So we were sitting on the chair, not on his lap, because that's freaky. And he proceeded to tell us about the war and how we should not do drugs because oh it God. fucked up his life. That's like real life Santa right there. <laughs> it is. That's awesome. And I was like, good <laughs> job, like, you Santa. Kids. <laughs> Coolest Santa I've ever met. Wow. <laughs> I blew the heads off of so many snowmen. <laughs> Those gooks. <laughs> snowmen. Asian snowmen. The year the abominable snowmen attacked. <laughs> We've got to find some workers, you know. Got to steal them away from the snowmen. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's got to be a really elaborate and detailed story. So you're like, maybe Santa is real. <laughs> he was the coolest guy ever. Never told us his name, though. So maybe he really was Santa. Could have been. You never saw him again, did you? Nope. It's because you stopped believing. I probably didn't see him again. He was at the mall, like, every day. <laughs> yeah. Another way I knew that my parents were acting as Santa is because they would do this thing. They would leave me a note, like, by the cookies or whatever, that I'd leave, like, hey, thank you for the cookies. They'd never be finished. There'd always be, like, two or three left. Right. They'd just take a couple bites. Right. And it was always in my, my mom's handwriting. So I always knew, since I was little, it was always my mom taking care of, like, eating the cookies and putting the presents out there and leaving the note. I'm like, this is her handwriting. It's exactly her handwriting. Like, yeah. you know, I don't I guess... think Santa's going to be around for much longer because nowadays little kids can just go, is Santa real? You know, yeah. right on the we had, we'd have to go to the library and like look up Santa. Yeah, and maybe there'd be like St. Nicholas something rather than yeah. like, what the fuck is this, Germany? Is this? That's not fucking Santa. What is that? <laughs> Santa's real. <laughs> One of my managers is really smart about the whole Santa coming to eat the cookies thing. They leave out carrots for reindeer, and she'll take chocolate frosting and draw hooves on the table. So her little three-year-old is like, "Whoa, the reindeer's made a mess." She loses her mind. Are you, would you guys do that if you had kids? Would you do the Santa thing? No. 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 We don't really. I mean, we don't celebrate Christmas now, and so you just celebrate the holidays. Just like, the holidays. Just, yeah. Even gifts and stuff. And being yeah, nice. the solstice. It's nice. Yeah. It's yeah. It's exactly what it is, anyway. It's, yeah. Every holiday now exchanges gifts around this time. I don't know for how long. I mean, I'm sure Han Hanukkah's always done the gift exchange thing, mm -hmm. and Jeez. Kwanzaa, I'm sure, is something similar. So it's, it's just like a shopping holiday. It's more about family than anything. Right. And yeah. I think that's what it should be. It shouldn't be about like a Santa Claus or whatever. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't have any family. But <laughs> I mean, I have family, but we don't talk to them. We're your family, Bobby. Oh, that's and the, and the, but, but you can't sit you, in your underwear on Christmas Day. Okay. All right. <laughs> pictures all right with your little face like mm, yeah <laughs> <laughs> presents you guys are like you're like hey bobby <laughs> you're like turn around my guts hanging out <laughs> right now the bobettes are tweeting like we're your friends bobby we're your family <laughs> we'll always be bobby strong <laughs> like after boston bobby strong team bobby <laughs> team bobby <laughs> We stand with Bobby. <laughs> District Bobby, is that a thing too? Can we do that? District Bobby? What is that? Yeah. Is that from Hunger Games? Yes, District 12. Oh, yeah. District oh, Bobby. 
<laughs> was it the salute or whatever? Bobby's the only one that saw it out of all of us. And yeah, I saw the new one and I really liked it. I thought it was it was well paced and the dialogue was okay and I thought the ending was really great. It still blows me away that Philip Seymour Hoffman is in this movie. It just feels like, why would he be in this? Like, okay, Woody Harrelson, Lenny Kravitz, these are those actors that you wouldn't... like. It's kind right, of a goofy movie, them. too. Right. Because it's got, like, the really fucking weird ha- hairstyles. You know, you could tell the author was trying to be different, you know, but uh, I thought it was really weird that he was in it, too, because he played a really serious character. He, he probably has but... kids, and his kids were like, hey, be in this movie, and he's like, yeah. fine. Yeah, I need the money. <laughs> Just don't get it in my eyes. When I saw the first movie, the hairstyles reminded me of Clockwork Orange, that Kubrick movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't like that movie. You didn't like it? Okay, I kind of liked it. It is really good. Try the wine. It's intense. (laughs) It's an intense movie. It's very intense. I love that meme. They always put that, like, when, when the eyes are open and he's in the theater, like, right after, like, the Twilight movie, and he's like, you're right, sir, I'm cured. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. (laughs) What other holiday movies are coming out around this time? Like, every every Best Man Holiday. I actually went to them when I saw Hunger Games. There were a lot of African Americans there, and I was like, (laughs) why are so many black people here? And I looked in the poster, and it's Best Man Holiday, you know, and I I actually saw someone there I knew. Yeah. It's kind of like Zorro when uh, my people come out. <laughs> There's no more Zorro movies, though, so it's like, what are we going to watch? There's no more Desperados, either. <laughs> I guess the next Robert yeah. Rodriguez movie? I don't and know. And then there's, there's... Wait, no. That one we didn't see. We should have saw it. Black Machete 2. Machete. Machete. I forgot. The perfect holiday Is that uh, movie. Holiday? Yeah. It came out. I'm probably, it's probably out of it's theaters now. I don't think it made now. that much money. But I like the first one. Did you see the first one? No. Nah. Well, no. It was goofy as hell, and like there's one part where he opens this guy's stomach up, and the guy's like, ah! He's standing there like yelling, and he takes his like guts and he he grabs them and he runs out the window, crashes through it, uses his guts <laughs> to swing rope into the window underneath in the bottom, the, like the next floor down. It was so awesome. <laughs> That's too much. That's too much. I Jeez. approve of this movie. <laughs> it's campy. It's supposed to be though. Like that's what the trailer was. Uh, in the Grindhouse movie, mm-hmm. it was the sh- the thing from Machete. Was that supposed to be a joke? Yeah, like it was a joke, and then mm-hmm. people loved the trailer, and so they made like this entire movie based on the trailer. Like the trailer was the story yeah. of the whole thing. Except what's her face was in it. She was popular at the time. Like right now, Lady Gaga's in Machete too. Yeah. Oh, so you should see it. There she's in yeah. Machete, like yeah. an actor. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's one of the villains, I think, in that movie. <laughs> really. Right. She probably breaks out in a song. She's probably wearing really weird clothing. Probably. Oh yeah. That's yeah. how she makes her money. That's how she makes her money. Yeah. She's if she different. didn't wear that, nobody would care. What's well, kind of like Miley? Well, like, yeah. People are like she's crazy. She's not crazy. She she's different. I mean, she was doing the weird stuff before she was even famous. Like when she was living in New York and stuff in San Francisco. So it's like all it is. It's I for- mean, she wasn't wearing a fucking Kermit dress. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's come on. She, sometimes I'm like, Ugh, just sing. <laughs> shut up and sing. Just shut up and sing. But she's really cool. I, I like her personality for some reason. I watched her on Howard Stern, you know, and she's, she seems really nice. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it, too, is an act. It's mm-hmm. just for people to start talking about the artist so they can buy the album. I mean, people think that, oh, she's out of her mind. It's like, no, you're not. You're falling she's for hyped. the fucking trick. Yeah. And it's fine, but, you know, she's doing... It's working for her, so I don't, I'm not going to be like, oh, fuck her. <laughs> I'll just pretend I don't know who she is when people are like, did you hear the new Miley Cyrus song? I'm like, who? What? Who? I, I, did, I did recently with Lady Gaga. Cool? They're yeah. like, Lady Gaga. And I'm like, who is that? I don't... <laughs> what do you mean? She this... wore like a meat dress. I'm like, oh, that must have smelled after a while. <laughs> I was I was, was it worried. cooked? <laughs> <laughs> I was all concerned about all the other people. Oh, yeah, she went to the award show with this dress on with the meat. Oh, was she like grinding on the guy like a month ago? No, no, no. That's Miley Cyrus. <laughs> who? <laughs> Didn't she get salmonella poisoning? <laughs> <laughs> so that's... Uh, it's always fun. Just fuck with people like that. <laughs> try it. Try it, listeners. It's fun. Okay. PS4. Yep. I really like the PS4. I bought it on opening night at an undisclosed location. A drop site, <laughs> if you will. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I really like it. I like the interface. Uh, you know, it's, it's got a real smooth interface, and you can seamlessly go between apps. You know, you can start Netflix and then press the little the center button and then go to like a game and then stop that and go back to Netflix and stuff, you know, if you're... So the center button, is that the, the touchpad? No, there's actually a PS button in the middle too. Oh, so kind of like the home button. I, 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 I've yet to use the touchpad. I use it on, at a kiosk at another undisclosed location. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but it, it's, it's I, I haven't found a use for it yet. I try. I think the first party games are the ones that are going to 
really use that touchpad because I'm sure Sony's letting them know like you have to use all the function the functions of this new controller, including the touchpad, kind of like in Heavenly Sword. If you remember, you had to like direct the arrows using tilting the controller, the six axes, mm. and it sucked. Like it wasn't accurate at all. It was really tough. You know, I'm gonna call it. There's gonna be a heavy rain sequel that you're gonna use the touchpad with. I bet you. <laughs> During the section. Jason. <laughs> Jason. It was a great game. Yeah, it really. The was. twist was amazing. Remember? Yeah. I, yeah, I didn't that see awesome. that. I didn't see that. In, I didn't see that either. And actually, I walked through it again and like looked at all the stars, how to get all the trophies, and I got like all the trophies. And I got like three gold ones. It's it's like uh, it would make a great movie too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it's so great it was, music. Yeah. So depressing. And you know that the actors they just scan them in, so they actually look like the characters in the Schmokep. game. I don't know exactly. if you've ever seen that. Schmokep. So they can just just get them and make a movie. Looks exactly like the actors it's and awesome. the characters. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, back to the PS4 thing. I, I got Ghost because that's all I could afford, and and uh, someone recommended it to me, and uh, it, it's it's just like every other Call of Duty game. The I mean the uh, the main campaign is only like five hours, and it, it doesn't take very long, and the online's fun, but it's it's just the same old game. Isn't it true that the graphics really aren't an improvement right now with these games because no. they're out on both platforms? No, you, I looked on YouTube too because I was like, well, I don't see the difference. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can't tell the difference when you're just looking at it. Because people all the time people like do side by side. I have friends that are oh these graphics are are better. You can notice it. It's it's crisper. No, it's not. It's the same well, fucking thing. Some right of the now. things are crisper, but what I noticed is that there's a lot more stuff going on. You know, like they can have things in the background really far away that they're still moving. I look at them and there you know there's like parts where there's an earthquake and shit falls down and you, it's there's just so much stuff going on. That's what. Oh, that's kind of. Cool. It doesn't lag at all. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I'll probably get a PS4. Uh, instead over the Xbox one, but I'm hearing good things from both systems. Yeah, no animosity yet between like the fanboys I really because there's either. I think they're both disappointed a little bit <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna, like, I was gonna say I think they're both just happy to have their system, but disappointed. I don't know like They're not really having a lot of problems like we sort of anticipated It's been like less than 1% on the ps4 and the Xbox one. Wow, that's good So I mean the ratio is really really good so if you got a launch console, I wouldn't be too worried, especially when you have that one-year warranty through each one of the mm -hmm. companies, Sony and Microsoft. Speaking of one-year warranty, something that I did not expect to happen from a console, handheld, 2DS. My brothers just died. That's true. It died? It just... It won't turn on? No, well, it'll turn on, but he can't use any of the buttons. He can start a game, and then the joystick works, but if he's not in a game, the joystick doesn't work. Hmm. I don't know. Did any of you have that problem? If you did, let me know. Um, Twitter, at Reasons I'm Broke. Hashtag Reasons I'm Broke. But he has no idea why it happened. We called Nintendo. I don't think they really knew why it happened. They said, send it in and we'll send you another one. That's, That's nice. nice. That's mm -hmm. the thing about Nintendo. They're awesome with their return policies and their warranties and stuff. Years ago, my brother dropped his DS Lite. And the first thing that breaks on those, if you've ever had a DS, is the fucking hinges. Those hinges, since they made it like a flip screen... Um, once you drop it once, it, it's fucking broken. Like the top screen, most of the time at worst, won't turn on anymore. So you're done. So he called Nintendo. I'm like, I don't think they're going to fix this because you, you physically broke this. You dropped this. It's not under warranty. They only cover like, you know, software damage or if it's for some reason a button stops becoming responsive in that year or with regular use. But no, they actually sent him back the same DS with a brand new top screen. Everything fixed hmm. and didn't charge him. That's, that's how you get like lifetime... Yeah, because you know, now you have users. yeah you have me fucking running around like they're the best with their warranties. <laughs> yeah, this one time my dad bought Ray Bans in the eighties and he broke them like the, the glasses shattered and he sent them back and they sent him a brand new pair and he swears by them now. Not well, the same pair, but he will not buy anything but Ray Bans. And wow. and that's great customer service because how much did that really cost them to send him a new pair? Yeah, exactly, and now, it, it, personally because they make so much money off all that stuff off the it costs them glasses right it costs them nothing and now he's going to go and only buy ray-bans for the rest of his and now life he's he's really gullible i guess well i mean it, <laughs> it is a customer service thing though it's kind of yeah. like that's why Disney people go to disney used to i mean yeah they don't go anymore <laughs> i don't know uh, well, remember the I'm, service is you know not not going so well anymore it's from all the college program kids They've been doing that for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's called. You're, you just say it's, that now. It's you, not that they've become the too concerned about their money. Yeah. <laughs> they have. But yeah, the PS4, uh, 
The only disappointment I have with it is the YouTube app. There's no YouTube app, and I want to watch YouTube on my PS3. There's no, really no YouTube yet? There isn't one on Xbox either. Huh. They don't have any launch yet. They, someone tweeted the, uh, the creator, Matsumuka Moka Movies. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> what was his name? Matsumuka Moka Movies. <laughs> it's something Japanese like that. I don't know. It's, that may not be the right. <laughs> I like that it ended with movies. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I said movies. Like man movies. But anyway. Uh, movies. So yeah, he said it's not available on day one. Sorry, and it's like day what ten? So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not counting, but you remember when Netflix on PS3, you actually had to have a disc to put it in the system mm-hmm. to start it. I remember that shit? There was no app. You had to. I used to have a Wii. Okay, Same thing okay, with Wii. guys. Remember when there was no Netflix? Now what are we complaining about? <laughs> Blockbuster, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you used to have to yeah. drive to pick up your movie, and it cost that. you money. You used to you used to have to drive to buy it. Like Blockbuster used to have to order your movies for you. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. My parents used to buy me movies, and it would take weeks. And now people have Redbox. Now they love, love Redbox. fucking Redbox. I do. I do too. The only thing that sucks is that you have to wait in line, people behind you, and then it's awkward. Just to return the movie, you have to wait in line. You have to like put in. See, I've never done a Redbox thing. Mm-hmm. You haven't? No, mm-hmm. never. It's a free trial. Let's go. <laughs> you, you get it one, right now, one this podcast is over. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, see you later, guys. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Redbox. <laughs> Reasons I'm red. <laughs> so wait, you put in your credit card again, and it says, okay, no, you're good to you, go. you go for the movie, and then you can put in a promo code, and then it'll say swipe your card, and swipe it, and then you go. I heard these, these are each individually owned, actually. like It's almost like a franchise. You can buy a Redbox and set it up somewhere. Really? And then you can collect from it, yeah. So, I don't know, I guess, because like, some stores have like three Redboxes. Yeah, I'm sure the investment isn't really? amazing, but I mean, over time, that's just extra, I think, a bit I of think extra it money. I think pretty good. You think so? Yeah, because people go fucking insane for those things. So I don't know, what what, the, what killed Blockbuster? Was it Netflix or was it stuff like Redbox? I think it's Netflix. Netflix. Netflix, Netflix is the streaming. Um, because remember, Blockbuster used to mail you your movies too, just that. like Netflix did. Well, the, yeah, they started doing that after. Right, Blockbuster, right. But, Blockbuster Online, it was called. I had that before I had Netflix. Right, mm-hmm. but by then, Netflix was so... Well-known. Yeah, and user-friendly. That, right. You know, why are we going back to Blockbuster? Let's just go to Netflix. Yeah, I, I used to hate going to Blockbuster. And on up, Netflix has kind of gained back its customers a little bit after they tried to do that. What was it, the Quickster? Quick, and then yes. people, people lost their no, fucking minds. they didn't even launch that. People lost their fucking minds. And what was it? Like, it was a better deal for the people that only got the movies, right? Yeah. But then people didn't want it to be separate with like people that wanted only stream and people that only wanted to get movies. And then when they raised it to eight dollars, my god, people <laughs> freaked out about that. Oh no! I think yeah, when One it, was, hour of it work. used to be five exactly, and oh oh oh. Well, isn't it like getting, fifteen now? No, it's seven for just streaming or eight. I mean, just for for just stream, which is an amazing deal. Yeah, it is. From amazing movies, deal. I don't even know how they can sell it like that. And with all the exclusives they're doing now, like House of Cards, Orange Is the New Black, that amazing. kind of shit. Derek. On Netflix. Derek yeah. was great. They're Not filming sick. season two. I follow Ricky Gervais on Facebook. Oh, you do? Yes. And now, now Disney jumped on that shit mm-hmm. with the Marvel. superhero mo- uh, <laughs> exclusive <laughs> shows. Yeah, I Smash. love it. <laughs> I love Netflix. It's a great I couldn't deal. live without it. That's our generation's thing. Yeah, the Netflix. Well, I mean, that's the younger generation's thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what ours would be, like blowing in cartridges and... Taking out no, VHSs. We're not that old. You remember you used to have to buy like a separate piece that would rewind the tape for yes. you. Eventually they made those before the VCRs would actually have to. You'd mm-hmm. stop the fucking thing. Take it if, out. Put it. If in. you did the re, yeah. And then Blockbuster, whenever you checked one out, it always said please rewind. Yep. So I would always rewind, and then I'd be pissed off when I'd get one and it wasn't rewound. It used to get fined if you didn't really? rewind. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, Blockbuster used to have this part sectioned off in the back where someone would just rewind all day. That's their job. I want movies. that job. You had that job? I want that job. You want that job? I was like a child exist when Blockbuster <laughs> existed. You know they don't make VHSs anymore? Not, they no part of the world? No. They halted making VHSs. I have one. I found it. I found one today too. It's Winnie the Pooh. The new adventures of Winnie, Winnie the, Pooh. the Pooh. Yes. I love Winnie the Pooh. Very nice. I would marry him. Oh my God. God. <laughs> he proposed on my birthday one year. Really? Yes. He did. I have the picture. Isn't it true? Yeah, she went to Disney and uh, Winnie the Pooh proposed. Yep, I said yes. That may have been an Asian woman or a gay man. Um, <laughs> Those are the two kinds of people that. If work I at had Disney. to guess, it was probably a white woman. A white woman, really. A short white woman, who was probably socially awkward, and was legitimately proposing to me. <laughs> <laughs> love me. <laughs> if I had to guess. We all need love. 
I'll take you on many adventures. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, my childhood. <laughs> my childhood's been ruined many times over, but that's another story. <laughs> I still have that picture of me grabbing Winnie the Pooh's ass. Like, yeah. You grab Winnie the Pooh's ass? Yeah. At Disney? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it was, it was at the... Sexual assault. Um, the Crystal Palace. Yeah. Where it's like a buffet thing. This yeah. place and so And then they walk, the Winnie the Pooh characters would walk around, and there was the one picture that Scott, my friend Scott, took of me, like, reaching for Winnie the Pooh's ass, like... It was only like five years ago, too. I was kind of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Probably still am. No, I know. You've gotten was... nicer over the years, I think. I remember that Tigger, too. He grabbed Winnie the Pooh's ass when he walked past. And I was a little bit scarred. Saucy Tigger. Have yeah. you seen the videos on YouTube of, of kids, like, messing with, with uh-huh. the characters and they, like, run them, run them out? Yeah. yeah, so if they if you're actually messing with them and they know, and they know you're fucking with them, like, just stop. If, yeah. You know. don't, don't be a dick. Yeah. That's all it is. It's yeah. their job. Just They're hot and sweaty in there. Which reminds me, during the holidays, as you go, as you're mm-hmm. out shopping and everything, and this should be there should be like a fucking class of just common courtesy mm-hmm. everywhere. Because even though you may not work in these places or you've never worked in these retailing positions or even at like a restaurant where they do get a lot of traffic, put the fucking shopping carts back in the 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 little yeah. fucking carts where they all go. Put them all back there. It's not job security if you're not putting it back there. Yeah, Just that's bullshit. fucking put it in there, and then they can take care of it and put it back inside. Also, yeah. your items, don't be a fucking lazy asshole and not go back to the aisle that you got the item from instead of just leaving it wherever the Ugh, fuck you want. I fucking hate that. Again, not job security. They have plenty to do as yes. it is during the holiday without your ass making I have, it worse. I have a friend that's a piece of shit, and she, like, and she knows who she is. She likes to throw things on the floor in Walmart, and when she doesn't want them anymore, she'll just like drop them. And I'll get really pissed at her, you know. And the other night, I got something at Walmart, and I didn't want it anymore. So I walked it back to the thing and put it on the, the thing. And one of the Walmart ladies was like, thank you. you know? Exactly. Because yeah. why be an asshole? Just take it right there. And it sucks that that's like a, oh, thank you. Like, that's something they have to thank someone for because it doesn't happen often. It's not They're a like, common oh, thing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we feel good inside like we're saints now. <laughs> something else people don't consider, too, is a lot of these employees that are helping them are brand new they're seasonal work they hire whoever they can find so you're sitting here getting pissed off because this brand new worker doesn't know how the computer works it's trying as hard as they can it's taking that happened to me at the store the other day remember i told you i went in to buy something and they had to order it online so it was taking them a long time and they kept apologizing and it's you know whatever you're new you don't know what you're doing that's fine you're gonna figure it out the lady behind me had a coupon for a free item she got this $10 item for waiting in line. That was all she had to pay for it. And she's behind me going, somebody needs to help her. She needs help. Why isn't anybody helping her? <laughs> this this is ridiculous. I'm like, just calm down. You're yeah. Being, you're, you're being an asshole. It's like when Louis C.K. says, you know, the guy on the plane had the Wi-Fi, you know, and the Wi-Fi stopped working and he's like, oh, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> you know, like how or quickly they owe him in something. in the air. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We can partake in the miracle of flight. But, you know, people are like that, you know. They just think that people owe them something. You know, that everyone owes them something. Yeah, people are like, oh, this is fucking horrible. I mean, it's fast food. What's taking so long? You know, it's like, <laughs> well, give, I, give me a fucking break. Something, somebody actually pointed this out to me in high school about people who complain about fast food. Because I do get kind of upset at that. I mean, I understand where they're coming from and that shit happens. But sometimes it's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Um, But he pointed out, if you made this at home, it would take you 40 minutes. So why are you complaining about the 5, 10 that it takes them to cook it? I'm like, yeah, I guess you're right. but It's true. I I get more upset about service than I do about wait time. Yeah, really. If if I'm going to wait, be like, hey, look, I'm really sorry. We fucked up. It'll be up soon. Yeah. That's all I need. Don't just be like, mm, I think it'll be out soon. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Even well, that, I'd be like, I just, I just want my food. Like, yeah. I don't care if they're assholes. Yeah, I remember that time I went to Sea Dog and I, and I complained about the uh, service and you were like, we don't want anything. You we don't want like, anything. Yeah, we don't want like, anything. Just to make sure. <laughs> I don't want coupons or anything. Just want to let you know. This is what happened. Because a lot of people will do that. They'll yeah. just bitch just to get something for fucking free. And, you should do And we were at, um, I remember when I was younger, and I learned that actually from my dad because we had a something similar happen at a pizza place, and it was just like, he gave him back the coupons. He's like, I don't want these. I don't want them. We, we just want our food. So much, so much honor, dude. So much honor. I honor my family. <laughs> honor my family. <laughs> Racism. I've been them on a long time. <laughs> For many lifetimes. I don't know if this is bad, but I just thought, like, I haven't watched Mulan in a while. 
that's, that's... Mulan's a lesbian, right? Or is she bi? <laughs> Was the controversy? She wasn't. She just dressed up like a man. But I'm no, no. Sure. She on on Once Upon a Time. She she proposed to a woman or something. Oh well. Okay, that's Once Upon a Time. I don't count that. It's not Disney. It is Disney. ABC. It's ABC. Oh, it is. But oh, yeah. I don't. ABC is a very queer channel. Yes. Because <laughs> it's Disney. Well, because Disney is pretty. Have you been to Magic Kingdom lately? No, I haven't actually. <laughs> Have you seen? Any I saw of... Gay Days. Though. Okay, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna ruin Uh-oh. something for a lot of people out of. <laughs> No, this this will make you happy, Bobby. Okay. All the princes that you see in Magic Kingdom, every single one, I think there are three that are straight, but they all live in the same house together. Why so would are that they make me happy? Really straight, because they're all gay. <laughs> and he's joking. Oh no, we lost five listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna tweet you. Just delete the tweet. Did <laughs> you say anything? Anything else to keep in mind for people that are running around? I mean, there's going to be fucking lines everywhere. Yep. Yeah, uh, don't participate in Black Friday. Please. Yeah. Just don't. wait. I mean, do we need consumer goods that bad? that nope. we, just, we just need a $200 50-inch TV. That is a good deal. <laughs> but the best deal is the, the day after <laughs> Christmas. We hear Bobby pick up his keys, go to wait outside of Best Buy. Hell no. We're like, no, Bobby, it's still five no, days away. I don't, I don't, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't want anything that bad. And they'll go the very next day to return your shit, because on the 26th, everyone's going to be out spending yeah. their gift card, trying to do returns. You just got like wait 90 a couple days, days, guys. 30 yeah, you got days. like 90 days. A lot of these places extend wait, their, war- wait their return policies. Wait until after the first. Everything dies after the first. Yeah, wouldn't it be funny if like the, the uh, I don't know, how many people listen to this? Like two now. The yeah, two people. About two people. Was, two listeners. The, yeah. I'm probably one of them, right? You're one of them. And your okay. sister's. Yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they, wouldn't it be funny if the the small amount of people that listen to this are Jewish? So none of this applies. I'm sure they still shop. Yeah. yeah. You know. So on the I mean, twelve days of Hanukkah, I don't know. Is it twelve, thirteen? Um, I don't know. I thought it was like seven. Is it seven? I'm How pretty sure it's seven. There's seven. Eight. Seven. There's four and four, right? I th- and there wasn't there one in the middle? There's one Jew candle in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the wind. <laughs> the candle in the middle. So is it nine? I think, I don't it's know. how many Remember, days they went in the desert, I think. <clears throat> the that Maccabees. was 40 years. God damn it. No, not those Jews. Different, the <laughs> Maccabees. The ones that, the ones that, they, they, they had a candle, one candle, and it lasted for like eight days or something. That's what it was. And then yeah. one candle for every day that Which it lasted. Which is bullshit. Oh, it, it's not true? I mean, dude... I don't know. You can get those like Lady Mary candles, can't you? The really tall ones that the Catholics like. Yeah. Those last a long time, right? I think so. I don't know. I'm not Catholic. I'm not Jewish. Jewish. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it's about. Tweet at or hashtag Catholic candle. I don't know. (laughs) Cat candle. Hashtag Jew candle. (laughs) (laughs) Show me your Jew candles. Every time Bobby's on. <laughs> I really don't get it. My friends point out that I have this fascination with Jews. I don't know. I just like saying you're, Jew. You, you're kind of working on your rabbi beard. Yeah, he has a giant beard. And it's not for Movember either. It's actually like an all it's a year, year beard. Round, yeah. yeah. That's what I tell people too. They see me and they're like, ah, oh, Movember? And I'm like, no. Movember? I think that's what it is, right? It's no shave November. Right. Yeah, so it's still November. Well, some people, I, I hear Movember. people call it Movember. I don't know what that is. Movember? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. November. November beard. November well, beard? See that? Just, I don't hear. Just call it beard vember. That's beard cool. Beard whatever. We just call it November. But yeah, I like it <laughs> just, just call it another day. Just, yeah. <laughs> another month. I mean. It's almost over. I think, Shit. I think beards are coming back, though. Yeah. I think they're getting more popular now. You remember when mohawks were coming back for a little while there? Mm-hmm. No, I don't. Like, there were kids running around with mohawks, and this I was like last see, year. I still see kids with mohawks. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure that you're just not remembering middle school? No, no. Even in middle school, well, there that was really like mohawks. last year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, babies. <laughs> Well, actually, fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, just really are old. back. We really are broke. People are doing that mustache now with the twirly. Yeah, those the are hipsters, are... though. The, the, okay, so the those hipsters are the people are bringing that. beards back too. Yeah. That are what? They're bringing beards back. The hipsters. Yeah, hipsters. The handlebar mustaches. They wear the fedoras, right? Fedoras. Yeah, those hipsters. Are jazz people. <laughs> they wear fedoras what too. Are jazz people they wear fedoras with like Cats. regular clothes. No. And then they have like their mustaches and then they have all their beer beers that they drink that you've never heard of that they yeah. purposely drink because you've never heard of them. Yeah. And once you've heard of them then they yeah, they suddenly don't want any. <laughs> yeah, we should do. We should have a spin-off show called Reasons I'm Drunk and it's just we review beers. That'd be kind of fun. And companies will send us beers. To oh, that's true. Yeah. Pick out a company right now and talk about how much you like the company just like you were going to Yeah, I really that. like um, Cigar City Brewing in Tampa. 
-hmm. They make stuff like High Lie, Hotter Than Hell Is. They make uh, Jose Marti. And they have really good quality beers, and I... uh, I like them a lot, and they're a small brewery, and they're world, they're worldwide. And you would love a free case of it. <laughs> well, not a case. I mean, just a beer would be nice. You know? <laughs> just one. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't like Jose Marti because there's like little pieces of cigar in there or something, mm-hmm. or like little nuts. I don't know. Yeah, I really like the highlight. I got a story about beer. What? Um, have you have you ever been to Walgreens and seen the like still mill? It's like still quarter. reserve. That's what it is. Yes, yeah. and I've purchased that. And then I, I didn't vomit it, but I mean, I kind of like dry heaved after drinking it. So I threw it away. I mean, the stuff is worse than water. How much, what is that, like a quarter each? A quarter a can? I don't know if it's a quarter, but it's... It's really cheap. It's it, like, yeah, it's 50 cents, I think. Okay, so 50 cent beer? Yeah, it's like $3 for a six pack, which is... Jesus. That's like... A couple of years ago, uh, my friend and I, Riggs, we were going to throw a party over at his uh, parents' place. And he was going to go and get a bunch of beer... And we went to Walgreens because one of our he had one of his friends that told him that they had this really cheap beer at Walgreens that he can get a ton of that everyone can drink and it would just be the greatest party in the world and he was so excited. So we went to Walgreens and he we're like I'm like okay he's just gonna get like twelve of them or whatever. He spent twenty dollars in that fifty cent beer. He had oh way too much of it and nobody would drink it. And would nobody it? drank it. Yes, because it's like piss water. And it, 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 it tastes like corn water. I it mean, tasted like Miller Lite. Yeah, exactly. Like a little it, bit or more Coors water. Light or Coors or Budweiser. Or, you know, they all taste the same. Yeah, it was not good. And we're like, uh, and so we put it in the fucking like ice bucket with, you know, mixed in there with Bud Light and Miller Lite, the other the cheaper beer. The good Yeah, the good compared stuff. to that fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. It and is. yep, everyone picked around it. Like, no one had that, like, fucking 50 Steel, cent. It's called, like, Steel Reserve or something? It's, I don't remember what it's something like that though. It's like, just, a, like, it's like a water wheel on it. Yeah, remember. that's what it is. Yep. It's a water wheel. <laughs> you know, for power. <laughs> so we were stuck with all this beer and my friend had the best line. He's like, Well at least you can water your grass with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's basically water the shit. Like it's just it would do nothing to it can it can't hurt the grass. There's no way it would have. Yeah. I don't know how you got rid of it. But uh I've never had a really good holiday beer i mean i've had a good halloween beer you know like uh Pumpkins. pumpkin pumpkin head or whatever yeah that's mm-hmm. good or smash pumpkin mm-hmm. uh but i've never had a christmas beer that's really good blue moon makes one that's i don't like really it. bad yeah i don't like it i don't like their summer ale either no i like their spring one that one's good and i like their pumpkin but not the winter it's i bought a case of that and i, I don't think i finished it did i Mm-mm. no no gave it to sally yeah <laughs> <laughs> go sleep Ugly dog. Yeah. Here you go. Go sleep, Sandy. <laughs> go sleep forever. <laughs> oh, it's dark. I don't like beer. I like um, Angry Orchard. Angry Orchard's good. Oh, you, yeah, like good. cider. Yeah, my friend oh, really loves cider. Um, you don't drink beer. I'm more of a hard liquor person. Mm-hmm. You like hard liquor? No, I love hard. Do you, Do you see what's on the top of the fridge? We have <laughs> rum and vodka. Rum and vodka. And then there's Smirnoff in the fridge. Smirnoff. Very nice. <laughs> and I have, we have Blue Moons. Um, and you bought some banana bread? Oh yeah, that, I bought that like three years ago and left it at my parents' house. And mom's like, take this shit out of my house. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I took it out of the house. You can try it. I don't really think it's good. I've it might tried be it good. Before. Is it good? Yeah. It tastes like bread. I mean, it's, it's like, it tastes like a, an Abbey Ale or whatever it is. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I do have a, another story for like Christmas Eve. Um, one of my friends, he works, uh, he works in retail and he was closing up shop and someone comes knocking, of course, right after they close. And they're always extended hours. You know, it's not like you, you, they were only open for two hours and it's like, oh shit, I didn't make it. Like they're knocking on the door and he's like, hey, sorry, we're closed. Customer's like, I just need one thing. It, it's Christmas Eve and I really need this. And he's like, sorry, we're closed, man. And he's like, you're going to ruin Christmas. You, you just ruined Christmas. No, you and, like, ruined Christmas. And walked off. And it's like, how many days did you have to shop for Christmas? Three Fucking 364 days. Yeah, you should just go, well, I fucked up. Yeah, like, oh, <laughs> I should have waited man. so that's, fucking long. That's another thing we need to talk about. Coming up on the holidays. When it's time to close, get the fuck out of there. Don't, yes. don't show up five minutes before yeah. they close. You don't want to stay at work any longer than they have to. None of these people want to either. Yeah. Don't walk up as they're closing and go, like, food places. I hate this. They're pulling the money out of the register, and people go, oh, are you closed? Can I get one more thing? Just, no, just go home. They're closed. Fucking, oh, I'll come earlier next time. Exactly. That's what everyone should fucking think like. 
but no, they, they all have to, you're not, you don't go home after this. You're obviously here to serve me all day and night. Exactly. Come on. It's ridiculous. Was one more order matter to you? Like, yeah, I you just... guys really don't work in retail. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work retail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys don't deal with people. <laughs> a, I always say we picked the two worst jobs to work in for the holidays. That's true. Yeah. We really did. But that's why uh, we record a podcast like this. So a week where we do get busy, now they get to listen to this. And, you know, it's better than not having a podcast that week. You know, a holiday podcast. And then uh, I think next episode we'll do like the best of episode. Mm-hmm. We didn't do one last year. And it was our first year doing the podcast. You know, but I think this year I want to do like the best video games of 2013 and best comics of 2013 and something to remember about these lists and that's something i hear people too talk about it's they they disagree with like a top 10 list but they don't like remember it's an opinion piece of course you're going to disagree with it so whatever we talk about it's probably games we haven't even played you know like people talk about gta 5 and how great that is i've never played it so it obviously won't be on my list of you know but one of my favorite 2013 games what about you bobby so far is that your favorite i mean you talked about gta for weeks (laughs) weeks <laughs> my my favorite what game, game? of really yeah, 2013 Re- 2013 yeah, yeah i would say so i mean i i've never i've never played a game that long before i played it for 45 plus hours holy shit and uh i really like the story i liked how much cursing there was in it and my dad would come in the room and you know they would be cursing and saying nigga and, you know <laughs> and fuck every other word and my dad would be like oh my god yeah i really liked it he liked and the free strip club <laughs> I actually never went to the strip club because it's displayed online. <laughs> That's the only reason. It's also I was curious, business. but uh, <laughs> curiosity killed the cat. So, but uh, yeah, and I, I chose a bad ending, and I feel bad about it now. The bad ending. So there's really no there's way three to endings. Good ending. Okay, so there's a good yeah. Ending. One's the good ending where you, you can I say it. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! The game's been fucking out for a while now. Yeah. So one of the endings is you can save both Michael and Trevor. And one of the endings is you kill Trevor and one is you kill Michael. And I wanted to kill Michael because he he wasn't deserving. He was the only one that you didn't connect with. Mm -hmm. And they make you... The only thing that I didn't like about it is at the end of the game, when you kill one of the characters, the family members call you and they're like, oh man, I can't believe you do that. You're going to die. You know, and they just... 30 minutes are just hammering you with... I get it. Making you feel guilty. Exactly. And and then right before you... Right before you kill Michael... Right before you... uh, (laughs) <laughs> Goddamn cat! <laughs> right before you kill Michael, he turns on. He's like, "Hey, buddy, how's it going?" <laughs> I mean, and I'm like, "Oh, I don't want to kill Dad. <laughs> yeah, it's not your dad, but we're gonna commit crimes forever, aren't we? <laughs> forever and ever. Yeah, yeah. be best. <laughs> but I really liked it. Yeah, yeah, it's worth the hype. Favorite one of 2013, then? Yeah, favorite game. Um, a lot of people will still say they really want The Last of Us to win. Uh, game of the year and it probably won't because of GTA 5 because of all the shit you can do in it but I mean it just sounds like The Last of Us was just the better game overall like yeah I was, less, I, less glitches I, better graphics I played it for like 10 minutes and it was amazing great story and it, it almost looked like a next gen title that's what I liked about this year in current gaming is these games are really pushing the hardware to the limit and it tells like if you compare fucking like i don't know heavenly sword for example on the ps3 and then you compare it to the last of us it's like night and day like it's Mm -hmm. ridiculous how much bigger the games are how they play a lot better and you're gonna i mean imagine right now take uh kill zone for example on the ps4 compared to whatever like kill zone 6 or whatever they end up doing on the ps4 like it's gonna be so much different exactly yeah and I think that's why they chose to do GTA 5 on the PS3 is so they can push it to the limit because they know that game was amazing. It was going to be huge and stuff. Well, I don't think that's why they waited. Let me rephrase that. I think they pushed it to its limit because you can tell the difference between 4 and 5. 5 is massive and it's just so much smoother. They keep saying it's not coming out on PS4. I bet you they'll bring it out on PS4. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of doubting it now. People will rebuy it. It'll come with all the DLC and like an extra something rather. I don't know. I I doubt it because it's like... Rockstar is really denying it, you know, and I kind of believe that they're working on other stuff. GTA I don't know. 6 or whatever? Not 6 yet, but they're still working on online. Oh, that's true. to fix that, that mess. Is it still a mess? Yeah. I haven't played it in like a week, but it's still a mess. No. Well, I guess a game that big, though, I mean, it's really hard to manage something like that. I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> Your favorite game so far? like, And it's kind of like a preview to that episode, I guess, but of this year. 
I would have to really sit down and look at what came out this year. Yeah. Um, one game that I really need to play now mm-hmm. that I really like, Rhythm Heaven, was that this year? Or was that last Rhythm year? Rhythm Heaven Fever might have been last year, but if not, it was definitely early, early this year. Right. That was a great game. Mm-hmm. Really, really enjoying that. But I can't... I'd have to look at a list of what came out this year. When have I had time to play anything this year? <laughs> That's true. I, there's no time for anything. Super Mario 3D World just came out. Everyone's raving about that and Zelda. When did that come out for? 3DS? For the, one for the... The Wii U is the Mario game and the Zelda game is on the 3DS. And they're saying that both of these games are some of the best in the series in years. Like they're saying it's the best Zelda in years and the best Mario game they've had in years. And they both came out on the exact same day on different consoles. It was just like this perfect push to try to sell hardware right before the holidays. And I haven't played either one. And people, my friends keep telling me about how great they are and how much fun and how this Zelda game is nearly perfect. I'm like, shit, I don't have time. Don't have time. Uh, this year so far, I think it'd have to be Fire Emblem. Oh, that was a great but, uh, game. But I do have to also look at the list. I do. There's like a Wikipedia page. You can see all the games of 2013 and it has them broken down by month and... I'm going to have to sit down and like put some aside and then start ranking them because mm-hmm. there's some good ones this year. It's a great game for great, great time for gaming. Like people look back at like Genesis games. They're like, oh, these online games, they have all these problems and all these glitches and patches. We never had that when we were growing up. How come they, well, it's like one of the games, Pong. one of the games are more fucking complicated. What? People I hear are them. whiny. Yeah, they are. Like, look at these amazing games that, that GTA 5 is the most expensive game ever to make. Mm-hmm. And people are whining. I mean, I whine about the online. All right. <laughs> but still, I mean, it's going to have some problems. Massive game. Exactly. And I'll still stick by my thing that, like, right now is the best, one of the best years of, for gaming. I mean, you have years of gaming that led up to this, but and they just come out so frequently, and these games are getting better. Rankings are getting better. You don't get, like, pieces of shit like Superman 64, where you just go online, look up the review. Oh, okay, this is shitty. You know, you'd have to actually rent it and spend money on it to play it. And possibly even buy it because I mean your friend may have liked it and and then you'd pretty much like it. I mean, I have to say that some of my some of my reviews are affected by other reviews. You'd say so? Affected by other reviews? Yeah, like if you go to see a movie and, and people are like, "It's amazing," you know, I'm gonna probably go in a little biased. I guess so. Um, I think the last one that I heard, like got like a ninety eight percent was uh, fucking. We saw it, it. It was not the. It was like the fountain, but not really. It was way oh, different. Oh, the tree of life. The tree of life. Oh my god. The- that- that it, well, that was the worst movie I've ever seen in 2011. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was 2011, I think. It was really bad. It, it was, was it was horrible. It was over long, and it was just drawn out, and and uh, it was just horrible. So what were they going for? I get what he's going for. I was you know, was trying to be all hipster and stuff, but <laughs> that was one of those things that it got the like acid down. Almost 100 percent Rotten Tomato rating, and I was like, oh, this has to be good. And yes, they didn't really understand it, so they didn't want to look like, stupid. I, maybe we're missing something. You know how it's like. I went to see Cabin in the Woods on opening night, mm-hmm. and I, I came in. I read the reviews, and I came in knowing it was a horror comedy. People in the theater were like, "This is the shittiest movie I've ever seen," because they didn't understand that it was a joke. Right. You know, I think maybe we're missing something. The Tree of Life. Maybe it's a joke. We haven't smoked too. enough weed, I guess. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. You didn't understand the symbolism. Yeah, what what, what about, was it? It's about what you don't see, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's about what you feel. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the argument that if if the audience doesn't understand the movie, then you failed as a filmmaker. I disagree and agree to a point. Some movies though, you just kind of have to, you know, make a movie. Have a. Uh, a storyline that makes sense don't just have this was like two movies put together in one mm-hmm. and none of it really it mirrored each other house for me did you guys see it <laughs> it was it was too too you know i didn't know where it was going and it was just jumping around everywhere and the guy the people on the beach yeah and then like his the father kids, like, dinosaurs cursing the dinosaurs, dinosaurs the planets the planets yeah it's like okay i, I, I don't know maybe i'll have to I don't know. Like, they had the dinosaurs, they had evolution, and then they had, like, the formation of the universe. It's like, okay, I understand it's the history that we've had up to now, but then they go on to talk about, like, grace, and you have to have the grace of God, and then suddenly it goes to, like, this modern family story of Sean Penn trying to remember, and it's just, what the fuck is going on? Like, I understand what they're trying to do. Like, okay, so this dinosaur not killing this prey that it caught... It's supposed to be like God's grace, and that's what reflects in this story now. That is this part of it. It's like okay, I you get it. You caught more than I did. I get it, but it's just it, yeah, it's I didn't not catch well that um, It's one of those fucking things. Uh, all I know is that when the planet started moving around and there was just that long scene, I just wanted to leave. 
I mean, I, there's only twice I've wanted to leave a theater. It was during Man of the Year. Man yes, of the Year. I did leave for and, that movie, actually. Oh, my was God. That I loved that movie. Yes. I was like 13 when it came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I thought it was going to be a comedy, and it just, I left. I didn't. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't like that movie. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, maybe we should rewatch it again and see if we like it. I don't know. Yeah. So we don't offend the smokeheads. Yeah. <laughs> the smokeheads? Yeah, the people that smoke weed. That was oh, <laughs> smokeheads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, I think with that, we can uh, go ahead and sign off. Uh, thanks again for mm-hmm. listening. You can find us on Twitter at Reasons I'm Broke. Let us know. If, share your favorite holiday memory or even one this year. Hashtag Reasons I'm Broke. Hashtag Holiday 2013. And if you guys are listening to us on iTunes, make sure you leave a rating and a review. It helps other people find us. And if Bobettes actually exist, hashtag Bobettes. There we go. (laughs) How do we spell that? Is that with two B's? B-O-B-E-T-T-E-S. Bobettes. Bobettes. There we go. Bobettes. There we go. Bobettes. (laughs) Bobettes. Bobettes. Thanks for listening. I'm Daniel. I'm Kelly. I'm Bobby. See you next week.